Hi, good morning guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel or if you're new here, thank you so much for being here. My name is Vicia and today I am going to talk about the Dr. Jars Tiger, Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This is a product that it's it's not new. Um, it's been around for quite some time and you probably have seen it either on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, it's, it's actually really, really popular, but I thought I really want to apply it on, uh, on a video and show you guys how it looks, especially today because my skin is so red. So when I woke up this morning, I thought, oh, it's a perfect day to use my tiger grass. And I thought, why just not hop on uh, in front of the camera and just apply it with you guys at the same time? Um, so this product is a 50 ml and it's sold for 37 pounds. There's also a mini which is 15 ml for 15 pounds, which is obviously great to use when traveling or when you would like to try it out to see how it is on your skin. Um, when you open up the actual pot it's a green cream so it's it's interesting because it's really like um you know when you have like a color correcting cream for for example on spots or on any kind of redness this goes all over your face or you can use it as a color like um a correcting treatment i like to use it all over my face as kind of like <clears throat> sorry like a foundation or like um, a tinted moisturizer because it basically adapts to your skin tone which is really really interesting you just need to see it and then you then you kind of know what i mean um so it also has a spf 30 however i don't rely on this spf i first apply my skincare routine i apply my spf and then i apply this on top so today i already have my i have everything on um, my spf as well and i put a little bit of concealer on um under my eye area um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dive right in with the dr jard uh it's a very very interesting product and as I said, there is already quite a bit out of the pot, so I have been using it for quite some time, but it's so, so interesting. Let me try to actually apply it on my hand and show you guys how it looks. So I'm just using a little spatula and applying it on my hand. So this is how it looks. So it's really like a very light green color. And then I am just gonna apply it all over my hands the best way to apply this cream is with your fingers so you just really apply it as like a face cream so little dots and then just uh, massage it into the skin you need to give it a little bit of time to basically fully adapt to your skin tone but when it's done it looks really really nice so this is how it looks so you see that it's just like it goes from green so it literally goes from this color to that in like seconds so i think that's 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 pretty impressive so this is how it looks on the hand um it it can be not drying but i think if you have a really dry skin i'm not sure if it's for you it is great for sensitive skin though amazing for sensitive skin um but on days when my skin feels a little bit dehydrated and a little bit dry i wouldn't grab this product straight away so just to let you know um uh, what i'm gonna do is let me get my little mirror and then i'm just going to apply it to my face i will leave my nose out for now just because I'm still not comfortable applying something to my nose. I just apply skincare, but that is about it. So I won't cover um, my nose for today, but I do the rest of the, of the face. So as I said, there is nothing on my skin except skincare. So yeah, let's just apply it. So I am going to use a little spatula to actually get the product out of the pot. I'm gonna start with like this amount, sorry like that and then i am just going to dip it onto my skin don't know if i actually use too much let's see just little dots i 
I'm still in a turtleneck, guys, because it's freezing. Um, I think I applied too much, but that doesn't matter because then you're gonna get a very good understanding how it's going uh, to look on the skin. So first I basically apply all little dots like how I do with like when I use like a day cream or like my SPF and now I'm just going to massage it into the skin. So I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera and I really hope that you can see you can see it well. I have quite a lot of redness going on. My skin is not the best at the moment, so I thought, you know, it would be a good day to actually use the product on camera and see how it looks. You need to I feel like you need to practice a little bit with the application because it's quite thick. So in the beginning I was like, right, this is interesting. Like it's something different and you really do need to kind of press it into the skin and make sure it's like when your fingertips get like a little bit warm, it kind of melts a lot better into your skin. So there we go. I think I have a lot on my forehead. Okay. This is a lot, but we work it out as we always do. To my eyebrows. Oh, and I see an eyebrow hair there. I sort out my, my forehead in a bit. I'm just going to do this cheek. So do you see that it's literally a number of seconds and it just completely sinks into the skin? Ignore my forehead, we sort that out. It just completely sinks in the skin and it leaves my skin feeling so good. As you can see, sometimes I kind of dip it in a little bit as well. Tiny bit too much on my forehead, but that's okay. It's not too bad actually. I had some redness on my nose because during the night, um, if you didn't see any of my previous videos, I recently, like six weeks ago, I had a revision rhinoplasty. That's why I don't apply anything on my nose. Um, but in the night, I still need to tape my nose, so I'm wearing tape. And obviously every morning I pull off the tape and it's getting a bit sensitive on the bridge. So I have some redness there. It's obviously not the best for your skin. But it's needed, so we just do it. It's fine. Won't be forever, so it's not a problem. And this is the Dr. Jar Sisa Pear Correcting Cream Applied. Guys, what do you think? I think it's so good. Like, it works really well on redness. Like, so, so well. It just covers it beautifully. And... I feel personally that it makes the skin look really, really natural. Next to that, it's actually a skincare product. So it has skin benefits as well. So it covers the redness. It looks after your skin. It feels good. It looks natural. Great. I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. And also, I was really worried that it would leave my skin like grey. I personally think it doesn't and I actually really like the shade, how it looks on my skin. So I am very, very pleased with this. I really like it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. So you can just have a look how it looks um, by, by the end, by the final look. But first, let me just wash my hands because they do feel a little bit sticky and I just, I just don't like when they feel like this. So let me... Give me one second and I will be back very soon just to just wash my hands. Hi! 
back again so I just washed my hands now I'm just gonna apply the rest of the makeup and then you can see how it looks on my skin by the end um, but yes it just feels really really comfortable so I am very very pleased let me just see I'm just going to apply like an easy kind of eyeshadow today um, this is the Laura Mache Caffeia Stick Eye Colin O Natural I think I have been showing this one a few times now it's just really really nice kind of taupe uh, everyday color for me like so easy to apply as well literally takes you like two seconds so I'm just kind of coloring in the eyelids a little bit like that and the other side like that with a, with a skincare product like this to cover the redness it's so important that it still looks natural i think i mean a little bit of redness i'm not bothered um, by a little bit of redness but you just don't want to get that flushy kind of look um my skin is definitely a lot more sensitive and a lot more reactive than it was in the past um and i definitely suffer from redness like i can also like flush very easily when I'm hot, I have this like hot, like red cheeks going on, you know, um, which I, in the past, I never really had, but my skin is a lot more sensitive uh, compared with like years ago. When I was still working in a salon as a beautician, I truly did not have a, a sense of skin at all like at all i tried all sorts of treatments and i never really had any kind of like you know crazy reactions it was always quite quite okay but yes i think it's um maybe h and things like that it definitely makes me feel very uh, old but um yeah there's definitely has been some changes in the skin but anyway I think this is a great product and it also what I really like is that as I said it has skincare benefits as well so um, you don't only cover the redness but it also actually looks after your skin and it just makes it look natural which is great little bit of bronzer I'm using my less beige um, Chanel cream bronzer which I use every day and I really, really like. It's just a great, great cream uh, bronzer. And it's so easy to apply as well. Like, literally done in like two seconds. Then I am using... Ah, I wanted to show you this product actually. So this is the Platinum Lip Plump from Dr. Lara. And... Do I say it correctly? Yeah. And this is a very interesting one. So I already applied it a little bit. It's like a gloss. And it makes your lips like plump a little bit. You know like back in the day. I had this kind of lip gloss. And it has like something like peppermint in there. And then you get like this tingling feeling. And it would get like a little bit more red. And a little bit more like plumpy. That is what this one does as well. But it works really well. So let me apply it. And you can have a look. I just love the feeling it's really odd but like i really like it i'm gonna apply a bit more yeah it's like that tingling kind of feeling Perfect. So this is the gloss I'm talking about. I feel the package is so nice. Uh, so what does it say? Apply gently of lips as often as needed. Oh, it also has spending time in the sun increase your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. This risk regularly uses the screen for broad spectrum. Yes. Okay. Ah. So it has, an, it has an SPF 30 in there as well. I never knew that. That is so interesting. That's really, really good. Perfect. So yes, I, I never knew that actually. Um, 
what am I going to do next? Should I do a little bit of something else on my eyes or not? No, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to apply the mascara on top of this. I am going to use the Essence Maximum Definition today. I think it's almost finished, so I need to purchase a new one. My all-time favorite mascara. I know I use it in every video, but it's just so good. And it does not make my lashes look clumpy at all. It's very easy. The price is great. I think I pay like £2.80 for this mascara, which is like, it's probably my cheapest product in my whole makeup stash. And it works so well. So it's almost the weekend. I'm filming this while it's Friday. So I hope you guys all have an, going to have an amazing weekend. And that you're going to enjoy some time off if you're off and do some nice things i'm still a little bit in doubt about what to do with my bottom lashes like i'm now at this point like what am i gonna do with them um i don't really like a lot of mascara on my bottom lashes because i feel like it makes my eyes look a bit funny so I don't want to have too much mascara on bottom lash. But if I don't have anything on them, I also find it a little bit like naked. So I'm just trying to do a little bit on the bottom. But very easily, you can make it look too much. I'll leave it like that. Oh yeah, this is the redness I'm talking about. So it's literally on the middle of the bridge. <laughs> all right that is done so this is the final look i mean my day makeup literally takes if i don't talk it can take like five minutes literally it's that quick oh i just bumped on the table sorry guys um so it's anything like a tinted moisturizer or not even a foundation during the day so usually just a tinted moisturizer obviously under eye brightener with concealer that's the one step that i do Personally, feel that I need because the under eyes are like blue. Like that is a whole different story. But yeah, they're just so thin. Uh, so I definitely need a little bit of concealer there. Then anything like a tinted moisturizer um, to just cover a little bit of the redness, make it a little bit more like smooth. And then I usually always use the cream bronzer and anything like an eyeshadow stick, like a cream eyeshadow with a little bit of mascara and that's about it. And I usually on my lips, I either use like a lip liner, but today I'm going for this gloss, which I rediscovered in my stash. So I will be using that for now, but obviously I could also do a lip liner and on, on top of that, I could use the gloss. Um, but this is the final look with the Dr. Jart. I think personally that it's, I mean, I think it's a great product and I'm actually shocked on how natural it looks on my skin. It truly adapts to your own skin color, which I think is pretty amazing. And um, yes, it's, it's, it's really, it's a really, really interesting product. I personally, if I could advise you on something, is that I would not only use this SPF in the cream, I would also use a separate SPF prior to this. Um, so at the last step from your skincare routine, you apply your SPF and then you use this one on top. Because if you would like to use this as an SPF, you need truly a lot of product to get the actual amount of SPF that you need to get your skin covered. So then you have a lot of this product on, which might be, um, maybe makes the look a lot more unnatural. So I would say grab a separate SPF and then this one as last step. So you just get that extra SPF. Um, I'm just checking if I see anything that I would like to share with you. The directions on the pot are actually saying after using toner and serum, apply a moderate amount onto sensitized skin. The protecting treatment will change from green to beige to correct any redness. 
to even out skin tone before makeup application. So you, they are saying basically use this before your makeup. I use this as a makeup. So I don't... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't apply anything on top of this. I leave it with the correcting cream and that's me done for the rest of the day. So yes, you can obviously also use it as a base, but I personally think it works amazing as a color correcting treatment and I feel you don't need anything on top, but personal preference. See what works for you. Guys, um, this was my video about the Cita Pair from Dr. Jod. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it that you're here. Um, I do say it all the time, but yes, I truly appreciate that you're here. And thank you for your time. And I will see you very, very soon. Enjoy your weekends. Enjoy your weekends. And um, make plenty of time for self-care. Very important. Look after yourself. And I see you very, very soon. Bye.